Hi, I'm Will Strickland. I'm the new poultry extension agent for the Northwest region for the LSU Ag Center. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about pad mineralization, uh, what it means, why it forms, and some ways that we can limit its effect on our cool cell pads. So what is pad mineralization and why does it form? Well, pad mineralization is the depositing of minerals onto the surface of our cool cell pads. This happens during normal operation of our pads as the water that we're using and evaporating to lower the incoming air temperature is really pure water that's evaporated. And there's minerals in almost all of our water sources, whether it's from our taps, whether it's from our wells. Most of our bottled water has minerals in it. Something like distilled water doesn't have that mineral content in it because it's pure water that's been evaporated off and recondensed. You can see here the white surface of this pad is sign of pad mineralization. This white coating is actual left behind minerals. Now these are actually some fairly old pads and there's good water quality here, but something like this level of mineralization can be seen if you have poor water quality after just a couple of flocks. So why is it a problem? Well, it's a problem because it gets left behind when the water is evaporated off, right? And so as it gets left behind and it builds and builds, it can restrict the flutes and restrict the airflow into our cool cell pads. If it gets to be a big enough problem, it can reduce the airspeed over our birds and reduce the energy efficiency of our fans because it's harder to pull air through this. Also, it's creating a rougher surface on these flutes, which means it can trap more dirt and debris and can be a place that algae can grow easier, again, further restricting the airflow through our pads. So what can we do about it? Well, again, that mineral is in almost all the water that we're going to use for our cool cell pads. And even if you have good water quality, we're only evaporating about a tenth of the water that we circulate over our pads each pass which means that again, those minerals are left behind. And so the water that's in our cool cell reservoir can actually be highly concentrated in minerals, even if our water quality from our well is good. So what are some ways that we can abate this, right? Well, some things that are commonly, you know, left in or in terms of minerals can be like calcium or magnesium. Uh, and this can even often increase the pH of our water causing our pads to soften. Now, uh, a common fix for this might be something like a water softener system, uh, but you would need an independent water specialist to see the minerals that you have in your system and how, uh, what system they recommend to fix that. Also, even after you have that system, you need to talk with your pad manufacturer to be sure that that system isn't gonna reduce your pad life. Also, we want to make sure that we have adequate water flow over the surface of our pad to reduce this mineralization, right? This minerals get left behind when this pad dries out here. So if we don't have as good water flow down here at the end of our pad on the other side of our cool cell pump, and this area of our pad dries out faster, it can cause more minerals to be deposited to these sections of our pads versus the pads that are closer to our cool cell pump. A cheaper and more simpler way to abate this pad mineralization is to regularly flush our cool cell reservoirs. This is going to get out all of that higher mineral concentrated water and refill with the lower mineral content water from our supply. Now, this can be done weekly if you have poor water quality or less frequently if you have better water quality. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to install electronic solenoid on our drain valves so that it automatically empties the water in here. However, the best way to do that is to make sure that either that solenoid is sized to empty this reservoir faster than our refill line is gonna refill it to make sure we fully exchange all of that water, or to have another electronic solenoid on our refill line to shut it off as we're draining the water out of our system to make sure we're fully replenishing fresh water into this system. I hope this brief overview of pad mineralization was informative and helps you better understand the formation of minerals on our pads and some ways to help manage it. Please reach out if you have any further questions.